Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Artus. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use Taobao app. So this is going to be a tutorial for beginners. Before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. So let's get started. In this case, uh, you might be new in using Taobao here and you're wondering how do you use it, what are the basics here, and what are the important things that you need to change here to properly set up your account. Now, in this case, the first thing you want to do here is you want to open up any browser that you have right now and you want to go to Taobao.com. Now, from then on, you need to log in into your account. Now, by the way, if you're having troubles uh, translating or reading or using the website because of the language barrier, we actually have a tutorial for you to use to translate the website into English. So make sure to check out our channel. Now, in this case, uh, what we need to do here is we first need to access our account. So to properly use the platform itself, what we need to do here is you first need to set up some details about yourself, like setting up your security details, your address, and all of those details they need to properly receive your products. Now, in our website or in our account here in our homepage, for us to access our settings, we need to go to the profile icon that we see at the top right here, which in this case, once you click on it, you should see a bunch of things or settings here. Now, the thing here is the front page could contain the general information about your account. So if there are going to be some uh, pending payments they need to pay, uh, some products that are waiting for delivery, some waiting for receipt, waiting for evaluation and turn after sales. So in this case, uh, you should be able to see the general uh, process or what is currently happening on your account right now. So if there are pretty, uh, any products coming soon or if there are any products that you've actually refunded. Now, in this case, uh, how do we navigate in the My Tao Bao section here? So, first things first is before you proceed, you I would recommend you to first add your delivery address. So typically, it's going to be at the very right top right here next to your account here. You could go and click on Add Address here or go to Address. And from here, you'll have the option to add your address. Let's go and click on Add an Address. Now, from here, what we need to do is we need to basically... Uh, add our address here so what what i recommend you doing here is to make sure see where you're currently shipping so currently it's set to chinese mainland so if you're in another country make sure to click on switch here and you could choose whatever country here so currently they support hong kong china taiwan singapore malaysia australia new zealand usa canada and even japan let's go and choose australia here and let's go and click on sure now from here, we need to provide the complete detail or address information about ourself. So in this case, enter your address, your postcode, your recipient's, uh, recipient's name, which in this case is your name, and also your mobile number. In this case, once you've entered all those details, just, just click on confirm to proceed. So let's provide all those details. And as you can see, we've just added our address. So the thing here is make sure that your details are correct here. So it actually matches your actual address. So incorrectly adding your address here can mean of losing your products or incorrectly uh, delivering the product itself. So make sure details are correct. Now you could also add another address if you want to. So if you want to add another address just for backup pur purposes, but we want to only use one address here. Now let's go back into my Taobao. Now, from here, you have a few options. We have the show card option, which in this case will show you your current or the contents of your card. So you also have the my order section. So this will contain all the details about your order. So if you click on my orders here, you have the following. So if you do see that, let's just convert it real quickly here. You have the bought the product, my auction, official consolidation. So if you have like bought anything you bought online, this is where you, you'll be able to see them. And also we have the my card pack, which in this case are coupons that you could actually use. So in this case, these are not used coupons, use your used coupons or even expired coupons that you used before. Your collection will contain some of the favorite items or uh, stores that you have on your account. So I'll be showing you how to do that exactly later on. And we also have me, my uh, footprint section here, which in this case, uh, products that you've visited before. So if you've actually viewed one product, you should be able to actually see them in the my footprint. So think of it as your history. Now, we also have the stores purchased here. So in this case, uh, you should be able to purchase from a uh, from stores. Like for example, if you've bought from stores, you should be able to see the list of stores that you've bought before in here. 
Now, you also have the My Invoices if you want to view your invoices that you've purchased before. I also have the Evaluation Management here, which in this case, you'll be able to uh, just a few things like, for example, uh, your the features here. Or just even view your value reputation score or your personal information if you want to. But for now, let's go go back here. Now, we also have the refunds rights protection. If you want to know more about your refunds or your rights for refunds, this is where you'll be you'll be able to see them. Like for example, you have refund management, complaints management, and reporting management here. That the most important section here is going to be the account settings. So account settings will contain more on the general information they have on your uh, account. So that includes your security settings. Like for example, if you want to change your mobile data or your mobile number or just a few settings on your account, this is where you'll be able to see them. Let's go and click on translate here so you, you'll be able to uh, read it. So for example, we have the option to address security issues, uh, change or add your login password, bind your mobile phone. So anything related to your security, this is where you will be able to manage them. Now, we also have the personal data. So if you want to change like your, for example, your name, uh, this is where you will be able to see uh, change them. We also have the delivery address like what we did before. You should be able to change or update your delivery address in here. Now, you also have the option for uh, personal trading systems, my Alipay, like for example, if you want to connect your Alipay account into uh, Taobao here, and we also have the application authorization here, which in this case will contain some authorizations that you've uh, actually given before. So, but yeah, so in this case, uh, let's go and discuss the main features here on Taobao. So how do you start buying in uh, Taobao? Well, buying in Taobao is pretty easy. So in their website here, immediately you should be able to see different products. But the great thing about Taobao here is you have the option to basically uh, search for your basically use keywords to search for products. So in this case, if for example, if you've added like bags, clothes, t-shirts, you should be able to find different products that actually matches what you're looking for. Now, we also have the search by image option here, which allows you to basically paste image or upload images that would actually look similar. So they will compare with their database on uh, similar products that you might like. So for example, if you have a t-shirt that you really, really like, you could actually upload that image here and they will give you the most or the closest look of that specific t-shirt in your search results. Now, in this case, you could also use their categories here. So when you go to product categories here, you should be able to see different categories of products that you might want to start visiting. So they have a lot here. So for example, we have fashion, dads, uh, we have pick up, we have a uh, new pants dress here. So depending on what you need. So for example, maybe I want to say, I want to go ahead and search for autumn here since I want to get some products uh, for autumn. And from here, it's going to give you different results as you can see right now. So in this case, how do we start buying products? Let's go ahead and select one of the products that we see here. Let's go ahead and select this one. Now in the product page, there are going to be some details that you need to uh, know here. So first is going to be the product name and the price itself. So also just underneath the name, it's going to be the amount of people that actually, or in this case, how it's actually performing. So currently it actually sold like around a thousand of these products. So people are really buying this product here. Now, in this case, you should be able to see the uh, delivery or in this case, uh, the uh, process of it being delivered to your uh, door, which in this case is going to go or it's going to going from uh, China here, uh, it's going to be uh, going to this location here and to your address here. Now, you also have the colors and the assurance here. Like. Uh, currently, it's a 15-day price guarantee, so one to four free, uh, one to four return shipping insurance here. Now, in this case, uh, you could change a few things here, like seven days, no, uh, no uh, option here. We speedy refund, uh, refund. You have the return shipping four times and the days price. So depending on what assure you want. They also have the colors here or the variants or the variations of that product here. If you wanna uh, get like, for example, you wanna get like uh, a black or gray option for it, you could go ahead and use that. You could also have the white and black here. So depending on the actual product, the options might be different. Now you also have the size here and the quantity that you want to buy. So currently, uh, there are going to be some limitations on products. Like for example, for this product, they are, and they actually only limit like 30 pieces for this specific product here. So you, you could only max that you could buy here is 30 pieces. 
And from here, we have the sizes. We have uh, medium, large, extra large. So go ahead and choose the appropriate size here. But when you scroll down bit here, you should be able to see different information about the product. First is going to be the user reviews. Now, user reviews are a good way for you to determine if your product is actually pretty good. So it's going to give you some idea on how, what it's going to look like when it actually arrives to you and some of those details. We also have the parameter information here if you want to view further information about the product itself. So what type of product it is, uh, the size is available, the sleeve type, the part number, the color, the pattern, if you want to know about it. Now, we also have graphic details here, which includes some photos of the actual product, if you want to see them, like further inspect if it's actually going to look good on you. Now, in this case, what if you want to view this on a later date? So the thing here is we also have the collect option here. So whenever you click on it, it's going to save that. So in this case, when we actually go to the uh, main page for our taobao here, so usually we have like a section for favorites. So typically when you click on it, you'll have the option to view your favorites. So let's just click on favorites here. And as you can see, it is now saved in here. But yeah. So in this case, let's go ahead and basically uh, buy it now. Let's go ahead and click on add to cart here. It's going to be added to our cart. Now from here, we now need to check out. So at the right side here, we have our cart. Let's go ahead and click on cart here. And you should be able to see all your carts here. In this case, uh, you should be able to select your products here. So first things first, view all the products here and select all the products. So once you've selected that, you can also increase the uh, amount of products you want to buy here. But once you're good with the amount here, you can go ahead and click on Settlement. Now, by the way, if you want to delete it or add to your favorites first, you can go ahead and do it by clicking on the appropriate buttons here. But for now, let's go ahead and click on Settlement. Now, from here, what we need to do is we just need to basically complete all the desired details here. In this case, so we have the delivery address here. So make sure that your address is correct or you can add your new address or modify your current existing address here. We also have the self collection here. So in, the, in this case, it actually saves freight and makes receiving the goods more convenient. So if you want to learn more about that, you could go and click on details here and read further about the uh, self collection here. Now we also have the cross uh, border delivery methods here. So the freight from your merchant to trans uh, transshipment warehouse is based on the mainland section freight. So the following is the cross border transshipment fee. So in this case, you need to choose the fee that you want to actually use. So in this case, we also have, we have the air, mail, mail air transport, we have the mail sea shipping, and we also have the official consolidation sea freight from 60 U1. Now in this case, depending on what you choose here, the price might change. So the um, mail air here is going to be the most uh, pricier one because it's going to be uh, via air. It's going to be a lot faster. You will be able to receive it a lot faster. But if you choose a mail sh a C shipping here or consolidated C fry here, it's going to be it will actually take a lot more or longer because because of the um uh, because of the travel or mode of travel here. But in this case, go ahead and choose your cro cross border delivery methods here. Now in this case, what you need to do next is you now need to confirm your order. So in this case, you could go ahead and click on the store offers here if you if they actually offer any store offers here. If you want to include invoicing, some details, you could go ahead and click on your details here, or personal, or you could even change the modi uh, modify some things like invoice title if you want to. Now, in this case, you could also leave some message to the seller if you want to. And also in the payment section here, you should be able to see the paying currency. We have RMB or a certain dollar here. Now, in this case, you go ahead and click on a the appropriate one here. And once you provide all the details, you could go ahead and click on submit order. Now, in this case, what you need to do next is you just need to basically provide your payment method. So in this case, you need to provide your de credit or debit card here. So let's go ahead and choose credit or debit card here. And from here, just provide the details needed, like the card number, card holder's name, the card holder's last name, card validity period, and CVV. Now, in this case, make sure all information here are actually correct because uh, in this case, if the details are not correct, you will not be able to pay for that specific order. But in this case, just click on use this card once you provide all, de all those details and just click on pay your order here and uh, your uh, order will now be submitted and it will be, well, in this case, you will be receiving like a confirmation receipt or page here. And basically from then on, you just need to wait for your order to arrive at your doorstep. But in this case, that's about it. So if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.